Hi, I'm Tiffany of Tip Stitched, and today I'm going to share with you a few new fabric pieces that I've added to my fabric stash. Although most of you who know me know I don't really need to add any more things to my stash, every once in a while you find that gorgeous fabric that you just can't pass up. So without further ado, let's jump into my new fabrics. First up, I'm going to start with three fabrics that were gift gifted to me by Fabric.com. And the first is this gorgeous gold gilded Ankara fabric. Like, look at that gold metallic sheen on top of this already super funky teal and orange print. This is uh, gorgeous. I'll show you the tag. It says Supreme Ocicani. And it's 100% cotton. Of course, this is six yards because that's typically how... Um, they sell this fabric. Now what I will say is that I wasn't aware that Fabric.com had such a nice assortment of Ankara's. Um, it gives you the washing directions here. Machine or hand wash, mild detergent, wash separately, no bleach. Don't dry clean and press on reverse side and that's of course because of the metallic overlay. But again, I didn't know they had such a great selection of Ankara. And if you guys have sewn with Ankara, you know that is really iffy, the quality that you would get if you order something online. And this one is actually really nice. It feels like cotton. It's not too thick. It actually doesn't have the wax like finish on it, but that's fine because I don't actually care for that. Um, and so as you can see, this is the back side with none of the metallic accents, but I really love this. You could definitely do a mix because Ankara is sort of colored all the way through. You can tell that it has a right and wrong side, obviously, even without the metallic finish, but it's um, still bold enough and vibrant enough the way that they dyed the fabric that you could do like a play on half and half or something. So I think this is really cute. I have six yards of it, so I don't know what it'll be. You guys can let me know your ideas for this one in the comments. Um, I think a pair of pants, like some sort of wide leg pants would be really nice with this. Uh, a blouse would also be nice. Um, I don't know. I think there are just a lot of options with this. So tell me, guys, maybe what's your favorite, like, wide leg or straight leg sort of stove type uh, leg patterns are. And maybe I will consider that for uh, this fabric. Oh, let me get that out of the screen. All right. Next up is this gorgeous Rayon Chalet that I believe is a Fabric.com exclusive print. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I saw that on the website. This is fa fabulous. You guys know lemons have been in for the past, I don't know, two summers at least. And I'm on that bandwagon because I love lemonade and Arnold Palmer and Beyonce's album Lemonade. So I don't know. Something about lemons just make me think super summery, super fun. Um, I don't know how many yards of this there is. I need to measure it again, but it's gorgeous. I love Rayon Chalet. If you follow me, you know that already. It has a great drape and flow. It's very comfortable to wear. I find it really easy to sew. Um, it's great for these hot summer months that we're having down here in southern uh, U.S. So I definitely want something out of this. I hope that I can squeeze an outfit for both me and Miss Socialite out of this so it might have to be separates like a skirt for me and maybe pull on pants or a cute little dress for her. She's getting bigger now so her fabrics take just as much yardage as mine do. One thing I was thinking about was McCall 7755 uh, yeah 7755 and then Simplicity came out with a girls version of that pattern so like a kids version kids tweens version of that pattern. Um, I don't think I quite have enough to do both of those, but that would be super cute. That would be my wish to do. Um, but I just, I really love this fabric. I think it's gorgeous. I love the way it drapes. I love the soft, 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 like teal blue behind the bright yellow lemons with the green leaves and the cute little white, I don't know, I guess that's what grows on lemon trees, <laughs> flowers. Uh, that are here. So it's just a really pretty uh, light and floaty feminine print without being like super florally. Um, so I love this one. Next up still from fabric.com is another lemon print because again I just told y'all I'm really into the whole lemon trend. Um, I would really like it if people would start making peaches too being that I live in Georgia. Like I'm not from Georgia 
Um, so I don't know that I can call myself a Georgia peach. I've been living here for probably like 20 years now. So I feel like that sort of counts, but I won't take that cred. Um, so someone doesn't get mad at me. But nevertheless, I think it would be really cute if they started making peach prints. I think that would also be really summery and would just be really cool for us Georgia gals. But anyway, lemons are cute. Lemons are in. You can find lemons everywhere. Um, I also love stripes. You guys know that if you follow me on the blog. So this is gorgeous. I love it. It's another Chalet, which I've just talked about how much I love those. This has the same beautiful drape and flow as the teal version does but it has stripes, which is even better. And they are vertical stripes because this is the selvage. So I should actually lay it this way. That is the selvage, so they are vertical stripes. The plan that I have for this Pratt fabric is McCall 7774. I've actually already made that pattern twice in two different views, but this one would be the view with the bodice. I think that's view C and D. I'll try to put a little pop-up in the window. Um, but this I think would be great to do with that bodice view with the gathered skirt because you could play with the stripes which you guys know is one of my favorite things to do so you could do the angle stripes with the straight skirt with the horizontal like band at the bottom and I think this would be gorgeous for that um, obviously it would because the pattern cover of that pattern is pretty much a very similar lemon pattern I actually did not know that when I thought of that pattern for this but when I went to pull it I noticed, oh, no wonder I think this is great. It's pretty much what's on the cover, which is something that I don't normally do is sew something exactly how it looks on the cover. But in this case, I definitely will because I think it's a great use of this fabric. It would also really work well for views B, I think A and B, the more straight, not straight, but the sort of more bias cut dresses. But again, the stripes, I just really want to play with. So I'm going to go with the bodice and gather view, which I think are view C and D and I will be doing view C if I can remember correctly. So all three of those are from fabric.com and I thank them for gifting me those. Um, next up are two from Joann's um, and I've actually had these for a little while so I was not sure if I should uh, include them in this pattern I mean this fabric haul but I haven't cut into them and you guys haven't seen them so I feel like it's safe um, if you guys have been to Joann's anytime this summer you've seen this pattern I believe it also came in a green or a navy this is actually a black but this is gorgeous it feels I think they list it as a crepe if I can remember correctly I'll double check I'll put links to everything in the comments or in the by uh, in the description so I think um, that's what this is a stretch grape it has a slight amount of stretch can you see it not a ton um, but enough I mean not enough to be considered a knit but it's definitely a, a good amount of stretch so this I actually purpose purchased with no purpose I just have been eyeing this fabric um, Erica Bunker sold I can't remember if it was a dress or a jumpsuit with this and it was gorgeous and I happened to be in Joann's one day and it was on sale so I had to have it I think I actually had a gift card that day so this is going to probably don't hold me to it a Zadie jumpsuit I've already made one in the red seersucker um, which I absolutely love I've already worn it like four times um, and then I think it would be nice to have one in a print and I think this print would be gorgeous and I think the extra little bit of stretch would make that even more comfortable than it already is it's not like it needs the stretch but it never hurts to have a little to me so this is the crepe big leaf tropical fabric from Joann's next up is another fabric from Joann's it is a linen and they have had a lot of linen 100% linen um, pieces here this season um, I'm hoping that they'll continue that into the fall because here in the south it is still quite hot through shoot Halloween so through October um, so linen is a nice weight fabric that breathes that can take you into the cooler weather but it's also perfect for the hot weather um, so I love 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 linen Shelly and linen are probably two of my favorite fabrics to work with as well as like a ponte and I am liking crepe more and more but anyway this is a vertical stripe I originally bought this to make a pair of pants I was thinking of remaking uh, Mimi Simplicity 8093 because I made that pattern a while ago in a green linen that I think I also got from Joann's um, but I've gained some weight and I can't fit into those anymore they were tight when I made them honestly so I need another pair and I wanted to make them out of the stripe fabric but since I bought it for that purpose I have looked in my pattern stash again 
and rethunk that and I feel like maybe it needs to be that new McCall's I don't even think it's new maybe it was last season McCall's twist front dress um because I think again that would be a fun play the twist on stripes you know to get that sort of play on the direction of the stripes and that looks like a pretty quick sew pattern as well and I have enough uh, fabric. I think I bought two and a half yards to make either or to make a pair of wide leg crop pants or to make that dress. So this will likely become one of those two things. If I can find another solid to make pants with, I probably would rather have a solid pant and a printed skirt. But I love the vertical stripes. I think they're fun. This is the black colorway. This also came in a blue colorway. This was from Joann's. And I think I bought it when they had all the linen and denim like $7 a yard or something like that. And I just, I couldn't pass it up. So we're coming down to the end. I didn't have very much this time, you guys. But this is a gorgeous floral um, blouse weight kind of fabric. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, probably polyester. But look at this, um, they call it window pane. I got this from Fabric Mart. This will be my blog post for them for the month of August. Yeah, August is what's, what we're in now. So see how it has this like see-through, sheer burnout window pane pattern. So I think it's really cool to pair this really huge, large-scale digital floral print with this very graphic linear um modern window pane grid burnout like i think that's super cool i like the juxtaposition of both of those together um i also really love the colors in this um i love sort of the chartreuse neon green you have here in some of the flowers i love this cobalt blue y'all know that i have so many things in cobalt blue Pink is not my favorite color, but I like that they threw it in here. And then you have a little bit of white in the neutral zones. And you also have a hint of black here. So like it's all of the colors that I sort of like. Um, so I loved the colorway and um, it has an interesting feel to it. I'm not really sure how to describe it. It has a slight bit of stiffness, but it still is very fluid and lightweight, but it definitely has a little bit of structure like see how it sort of balls up I feel like it'll give a nice skirt feel so this is definitely going to be a skirt or a dress I I think <laughs> I've narrowed it down um to a dress but I might be second guessing it I was originally thinking uh, Mimi's Jessica dress pattern because everyone's made that pattern it looks absolutely lovely I love a button uh down dress I think it's super cute and I have not sewn it for what reason I don't know I think that thing has been out for like three or four years now and I've never made it out of any fabric ever um, so I would really love to make that with it and sort of make it a longer view, but do the lining, which I also got from Fabric Mart, um, just through the bodice and like to the knee of the skirt, but make maybe the dress T-length and then have a little bit where you can see through the sheerness. Um, this is a white, mm, I can't remember what this is, but it's a really light weight fabric, of course. I just wanted it to be a lining to provide some... Um, non see through for the bodice and the skirt because um, obviously this is see through and now that I'm looking at this this is so lightweight I'm hoping <laughs> that this gives enough coverage uh, for the bodice from the skirt I'm not as concerned because the skirt will be um, gathered so that hides a lot um, but hopefully this will be thick enough for the bodice if not I may have to double up on the bodice pieces I may have to underline the main piece here and then add a lining steel anyway um so I was thinking the Jessica dress, but the longer and longer this fabric hung from my dress form, I started to dig through my patterns and I feel like this would make a very beautiful McCall 7802. And that dress is a sort of deep V split bodice dress with a waistband and a six panel skirt, I believe, with like a thigh high slit on one of the six panels if you make the maxi view and if you make the knee view with just a six panel skirt. But I think that would look gorgeous stopping again the lining fabric sort of at the knee or slightly above the knee and then letting the rest have the see-through um, with the grid with the burnout so I'm trying to decide which one that should be if you guys have a preference let me know in the comments I won't promise you that I'll do what wins but I will definitely take it into consideration so yeah those are the fabrics that I have sort of from this summer. I've been really trying to do better about buying 
a lot of fabrics and like I said this is my fabric mark fabric from my fabric post and the first three um, fabrics are were gifts from fabric mark so I have kept my budget in check for the most part um, so I feel like that's pretty accomplished but I don't care if I would have had to purchase this lemon I probably would have because I love both of those linens and though I don't sew with Ankara much this one actually has me sort of inspired and and ready to sew something with it I really I really like this one something about the boldness and like just all the chaos just screams to me so this is what I have I just wanted to share with you guys bye